uh, Hyundai Kurokoski. I think he moved over from center because uh, they wanted to try him out there. What was it like uh, kind of playing with him this week? Um, yeah, it was great. I mean, he's uh, he's very talented. He's a really good, uh, really good player, really good scorer, good stick handling, like everything. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think he's gonna have a great career. What was kind of the experience like this entire week? Uh, I know that it wasn't it Steve Richmond who invited you over to camp. Like, what's kind of the story behind you ending up here in Belgium? Uh, well, I played with uh, with his son Danny mm -hmm. in uh, Munich. And uh, I, uh, I think he came for a visit mm -hmm. and uh, saw us play and uh, I guess saw something in me. Mm -hmm. And then I think they were uh, they, they were watching me on the Olympics. Yeah. Um, so yeah, after that we uh, we made an agreement. They mm -hmm. invited me for a camp. I yeah, I was so ha I was happy to, to come here. Yeah. It was uh, this week was a great experience for me. It was uh, everything was new. I never been uh, like playing at a smaller smaller ice. And, yeah. Uh, so that was a little bit of a challenge in the beginning, but it was getting better and better. So um, yeah, it was it was awesome. What was maybe the most memorable thing of the week for you personally? It could be a movie, it could be you know something out on the ice. Like I, um, we never had that power skating. So yeah. uh, I, uh, I think I really got some uh, good pointers from uh, from that, and I uh, and I really liked it. Did the team have? Uh, has the team talked to you about potentially inviting you to rookie camp? Uh, in the fall, or what, what is kind of your status moving forward now? Uh, we we've talked, but uh, I think uh, we're gonna talk uh, later on. I um, think they're gonna discuss it uh, a little more, and then uh, we talk afterwards. Now, obviously, you're a little bit older than all the rest of the guys. What was that kind of like to be a little bit of uh, the, the oldest guy here? Um, <laughs> well, at first was uh, was a little bit funny, but then like uh, it really doesn't matter how old you are. Like yeah. uh, you have to perform your best. You have to do your best. And uh, every everybody is uh, is really good. So uh, I just I I didn't like when the time was going on. I didn't even think about it anymore. So uh, I just did what I had to do, and uh, yeah, I just enjoyed it. Now uh, you have something on on most caps players that they can't even say. You've actually scored a goal in the Olympics. What what is what is that experience like for? For someone like a common person like me, <laughs> like, what is that? What is that like? Uh, I don't know. That was like the whole Olympics. Everything that was like uh, the best experience in my life. Yeah. It's like playing against the best players in the world. Yeah. Uh, being in the same town, the same city, or the village, as you say it. Um, it was it was just great. And yeah, scoring the goal is even better. But yeah. uh, the most important thing was that our team did well. Yeah. And then made it to the quarterfinals, which was uh, yeah kind of before the. Before the Olympics started, it was kind of mission impossible. But uh, when we started playing, it was uh, it was we saw we can play with everybody. So it was yeah, it was awesome. It was just great. What was kind of your wow moment there? Did you go to the opening ceremonies? Like, uh, who was maybe the most? Uh, who was the player on the ice that you were like most impressed by? Like, whoa, I am on the ice with this guy. You know. Um, yeah, I mean it was. Yeah, we were on the opening ceremony, which yeah. was which was great. Uh, we saw some good things, great things, nice things. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, the best uh, the best thing was to play opening game against Russia. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. Uh, Ovechkin, mm -hmm. like everybody, Ovechkin, Malkin, yeah. Datsyuk, mm -hmm. everybody. Yeah. Now, how did you guys do? How did you guys do in that game? Was that the one they scored? They won five. Yeah, they won five two. We yeah. we've been down. I think. Uh, Three nothing or two nothing came back, yeah. but then they had two goals, and I think it was an empty netter. So mm -hmm. it was kind of a close game in the end, but uh, still, you just you can see that everybody has so much experience. So uh, yeah, it was it was a good opening game for us. Do you think that experience really helped your play go to the next level? I know uh, a lot of people knew who you were from that shorthanded goal that you scored. You know, was, what was it like just to play with with your country and, and have an opportunity like that? Um, well, I, I played on some more championships yeah. before, so uh, I, like we, like all the guys, who know each other. We are a really good uh, group of guys. Uh, so uh, it's and uh, like even the World Championship, it's awesome. But like Olympics, it's even like a, yeah. a step up. So um, yeah, it was a great opportunity for us, and uh, everybody's going to higher leagues now. So. Yeah. And the people were watching more hockey than everything else, so yeah. uh, it's good for uh, for uh, kids to uh, you know to see the country do so well. So hopefully they uh, they will uh, you know get into hockey more and more, which because hockey is not a prime sport back home. So. And when you guys went home, you had a huge reception, right? Yeah, it was uh, it was around 500 people in the airport, but we came late. We came like uh, three in the morning.
morning, I think. Yeah. So it was it was huge. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess I wanted to ask you too. One thing I noticed just even today was that you were just an incredible four checker and and back checker. Like where where is where did you pick that up? Like I, I know a lot of a lot of younger guys. That's the part of the game that kind of comes last. Uh, like, are you more of a like a defensive player? Like how would you describe yourself? I don't know. It's uh, <laughs> actually like it, it depends from team to team that I play. Like in Sweden, I was uh, more like a third line player. Uh, like uh, yeah, playing short. What do you say? Uh, playing short-handed. Short yeah, yeah, there, yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Play short-handed and uh, you know just uh, work hard. But like now in Germany, I was uh, yeah. more offensive, playing uh, short-handed too. And the national team, like I, like on the last World Championship, play the first, second line, like uh, play short-handed too. Yeah. So I play short-handed most of the time, and uh, sometimes I play on the. On the Power play too, so I don't know. I just I I think I always work hard. Like I try to do my best, mm -hmm. try to skate hard and uh, win some pucks. Maybe create some space for my teammates. Mm -hmm. And yeah, sometimes I can I can score some goals too. So <laughs> I guess it depends from game to game and team to team. So I guess you know obviously you don't know your situation yet, but this this whole week in Washington, like did you did you like it here? Was was this the first time you visited? Yeah, I, I was uh, I was in US like when I was younger, but yeah. so I don't remember much. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was like basically my first time in uh, US and uh, or North America, and uh, yeah, it was uh, it was uh, great, and uh, I like it. I I liked everything about it. Like the organization is really really good. Yeah. yeah so uh, it was a great experience. For me. Well, and the last thing I'd ask you is that. Um, so I took I took many years of Spanish, but I could not go into let's say Mexico or Spain and speak as well as you do it with English. Like, how are you so good at speaking the language? I don't know. I uh, <laughs> I was uh, like I played in Sweden for seven years. Yeah. So I uh, first I you know when I came from home I was seventeen my English was not so good. So yeah. first I learned English, then I learned Swedish, and uh, last year I played in Germany where it's uh, a lot of North American players. And uh, you know, just hanging out with them, you pick up some new words. And uh, I guess, I guess, I just just speaking. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the best, uh, the best exercise. Yeah. I guess one more thing is that uh, Verona, the past first round pick, he was, he was really impressive all week. Uh, what was it like to kind of play with him and share the ice with him? Like, do you see big things from him just as an eighteen year old? Oh yeah, he's uh, he's a really good skater. He's really fast. Uh, he has a great shot. Like. Uh, yeah, it was great to play with uh, with both of them, and uh, yeah, it was uh, they're they're both having a good opportunity in the, in the future. Oh yeah. Well, thank you so much. I hope thank to you. see you.